So guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm starting a new project, a, uh, which you might have not seen before. It's a uh, basically, uh, okay, a little bit of backstory. Uh, for my workshop, I wanted a sound system like a Sonos, like a wireless speaker that you could stream music to from Spotify or whatever. And I just couldn't bear the the thought of paying uh, what Sonos charges for what is probably a really great product. And so I started looking for alternatives and I find this uh, system where you can use a Raspberry Pi together with a special board to basically make any speaker system wireless. So what I have here is a Raspberry Pi 3, Model B, basically mostly for the... Oh, that is cute, but like coffee shop packaging on that one. So, uh, which... Uh, which... Uh, we're looking at. So, there's the Raspberry, and here's the Black Magic. Uh, this is a... Uh, I think it's called a Hi-Fi Berry. Yeah, a Hi-Fi Berry. M2 Plus board, uh, links in the description. Uh, and this is basically, they make different kinds of these. But this one is a uh, amplifier board. So it has two sets of speaker channels and a... Uh, so you feed basically power and then you can drive two speakers from it. Uh, and I, from what I've understood is that the the hardware, uh, the digital analog converters on this one is a lot better than what normally ships with the, the or what's installed on the Pi. So um, today we're basically just going to have a look how this, so it fits basically to the GPIO header of the Raspberry and it actually passes through most of the, or the whole header actually. So you could potentially use this for something else as well, which is kind of neat. I also splurged and bought the branded case, mainly because I, I uh, wanted it nicely packaged. Uh, I'm doing a two-speaker setup, but if I were doing only one, I would probably hide it inside the speaker itself. So. But so what we're going to do here is we're probably going to, these are nylon standoffs and I have to admit I'm not overly familiar with these, but I guess you would want the small nylon bolts on the bottom because this board weighs almost the same as the Raspberry Pi, so you definitely don't want it hanging off the just of the GPIO header. So we're going to pop these on and uh, see how it looks when properly installed in its case. And uh, then we're going to have a wee look at the, the software side. And finally, we're going to hook everything up and see if it actually works. So, this is going to be interesting. This is not a, like, hacking <laughs> build or anything. This is basically just cobble the pieces together and, and see how it works. And I know there are other videos, but I thought this was quite a neat product and uh, thought this might interest you guys. And uh, after a while, I'll try to make a, a or I'll make a blog post also, uh, with basically when I have some experience with the device itself. So I can tell you what, if I liked it or didn't like it. But basically it's just a custom, like everything these days, it's a custom Raspberry image that you load that has the actual software. You don't have to use this, you could use the audio jack on the Pi itself if you wanted to. But uh, uh, this one has, since I need to drive two passive speakers, then this, this was basically quite a, a nice setup for me. 
So what we're going to do is slide that on, like so. And then we're going to try. I'm really surprised <laughs> like these plastic standoffs actually work. If I were to have, like this came with the, I think it's the case that includes the standoffs, or is it the, the high hi Berry Amp 2 Plus, something? I can't remember if it's the case or or these, but you can get all these parts from, except the Raspberry, uh, from from the the store where they sell them. And um, yeah. uh, for clarity's sake, I'm not getting paid to do any like this promotion. I just found a cool gadget online and thought you might guys might be interested in it. Like, I'm amazed how well these threads work. This is just this is just amazing. So I don't think you need to talk these down any ungodly amount. We're not talking about you know greater stuff. This is a bit fiddly though. I don't really know. Even though I sit in my workshop surrounded by tools, I can't really think of it. Oh Jesus. If one of these treaded nylon standards is going to give me problems, of course it's the one that's in such a spot that I... Or is there some schmoo in the, in the nut maybe? No. Ah, but they are maybe not unidirectional. I'm sorry if I'm a bit out of focus. We can't all be AVE. <laughs> and my camera definitely doesn't have any sort of <laughs> voice activate. There we go. So. Then we, what we all been waiting for, we can see. These are quite handy. Could probably get like an assortment of these from Banggood or something. I have to look into that. So this is the case. And it doesn't seem to be, you know, uh, toolless. Uh, do we have anything around? Maybe the AV ruler. Oh yes. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so let's chuck the the whole thing inside. See. Uh, is that clip supposed to catch the raspy? Oh. Fancy. Even though I really can't understand how that is supposed to work. Ah, there we go. So there's your recipe, and then you can, there's different knockoffs. Because you can get these also with just like RCA outs or, uh, I don't know, SPIFs or something like that. So it's quite nifty that it has this. It has all the raspberry outlets. And then this huge knockout in the back, I'm not really sure. Oh, it also has for the for the SD card. And, and then you have this knockout so you can, that fits probably different. And also a ribbon cable for the the GPIO headers. Uh, let's, oh, maybe not. We'll do that later when I have the proper tools at hand. So, and then it, it snaps back together. So. There we have it. So basically now what we're going to do is we're going to flash an SD card and... Oh, it has these nice things. Or those. I could probably like screw it into the to the back of the speaker. That would be nice. Completely hidden setup, just two speakers. So uh, we're going to flash an SD card with software, try to set that up. Uh, and then we're going to have to find a power to this. This one needs, I think it's... 18 volts it says on the PCB for the hi-fi berry and uh, and it also powers the recipe so you only need one power which is kind of nice 
So we're going to do that and uh, then I think this is going to be maybe a multi-part series. We'll see how, how uh, inspired I feel. But there you go. A Raspberry Pi 3B with the added, added uh, I think you could call it amplifier hat, I think. And in its nice purpose-built case, which is lovely. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys with the software side of things, and uh, then we will we will get get back at it. Okay, see you in a bit.